Wonder, Chapter 29, Costumes. For me, Halloween is the best holiday in the world. It even beats Christmas. I get to dress up in a costume. I get to wear a mask. I get to go around like every other kid with a mask and nobody thinks I look weird. Nobody takes a second look. Nobody notices me. Nobody knows me. I wish every day could be Halloween. We could all wear masks all the time. Then we could walk around and get to know each other before we got to see what each other looked like under the masks. When I was little, I used to wear an astronaut helmet everywhere I went. To the playground, to the supermarket, to pick Via up from school, even in the middle of the summer, though it was hot on my face and I would sweat. I think I wore it for a couple of years, but I had to stop wearing it when I had my eye surgery. I was about seven, I think. And then we couldn't find the helmet after that. Mom looked everywhere for it. She figured that it had probably ended up in Grand's attic, and she kept meaning to look for it, but by then I had gotten used to not wearing it. I have pictures of me in all my Halloween costumes. My first Halloween, I was a pumpkin. My second, I was a tiger. My third, Peter Pan, and my dad dressed up as Captain Hook. My fourth, I was Captain Hook, and my dad dressed up as Peter Pan. My fifth, I was an astronaut. My sixth, I was Obi-Wan Kenobi. My seventh, I was a clone trooper. My eighth, I was Darth Vader. My ninth, I was the bleeding screen, the one that has the fake blood oozing out all over the skull mask. This year, I'm going to be Boba Fett. Not Boba Fett the kid in Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones, but Boba Fett the man from Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back. Mom searched everywhere for the costume, but couldn't find one in my size, so she bought a Jango Fett costume since Jango was Boba's dad and wore the same armor, and then she painted the armor green. She did some other stuff to it to make it look worn, too. Anyway, it looks totally real. Mom's really good at costumes. In Homeroom, we all talked about what we were going to be for the Halloween. <coughs> Charlotte was going to be Hermione from Harry Potter. Jack was going to be a wolfman. I heard that Julian was going to be Jango Fett, which was a weird coincidence. I don't think he liked hearing that I was going to be Boba Fett. On the morning of Halloween, Via had this big crying meltdown about something. Via's always been so calm and cool, but this year she's had a couple of these kinds of fits. Dad was late for work and was like, Via, let's go, let's go. Usually Dad is super patient about things, but not when it comes to being late for work and his yelling just stressed out everyone even more. And Via started crying louder, so Mom told Dad to take me to school and she would deal with Via. Then Mom kissed me goodbye quickly before I even put on my costume and disappeared into Via's room. Augie, let's go now, said Dad. I have a meeting I can't be late for. I have to put my costume on. So put it on already. Five minutes, I'll meet you outside. I rushed to my room and started to put on the Boba Fett costume. But all of a sudden, I didn't feel like wearing it. I'm not sure why. Maybe because it had all these belts that needed to be tightened and I needed someone's help to put it on. Or maybe it was just because it still smelled a lot like paint. All I knew was that it was a lot of work to put the costume on and dad was waiting and would get super impatient if I made him late. So at the last minute I threw on the bleeding scream costume from last year. It was such an easy costume just a long black robe and a big white mask. I yelled goodbye from the door on my way out but mom didn't even hear me. I thought you were going to be Django Fett said dad as I went outside. Boba Fett. Whatever said dad. This is a way better costume anyway. Yeah it's cool I answered. <laughs>